here we are on the material.io color tool uh, site. And I love this because it allows you to come in and kind of choose the colors you're interested in working with. And what it does is it creates uh, a primary, a secondary, and a dark, right? And it creates a color scheme for you, gives you the hex colors or your RGB colors so you can enter that in. So what I did was I, I played around, I found some colors that I liked, and then what I did, the first thing I did was I um, I saved them. I, I chose, I took this uh, URL so I can always go back to my selection. And what I did was I took it into my invention journal so I will always have access to that. So here I am in my invention journal. So this is my invention journal for my project where I have my notes, I have my images, where I put my sketches. Um, so what I want to do is I want to come in here show you what I did for design. So I came in here and under color, I actually took all my colors. So these are the three that I chose. So here's my primary palette. Now you're going to refer back to this through the life of your app. So I just put them here so I always have it. I did a screenshot of my of of what I chose to kind of show how material thought I should use these colors. And um, so I have it all in one place. So it took me about five minutes to kind of cut and paste and create these. But now I always have what I need when it comes to design. So now I'm going to take these color choices and take them back in to Thunkable. All right. So now that I'm back from material.io, I have my color options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply them. So remember, every time we touch something over here, we can define it over here. So um, on this main page, greenhouse app, I want to make sure I have the title row selected, not just the button, because I want to do that whole row. So I'm going to come here and I want to add the background color. Now material.io, there's two ways you can enter color on computers, RGB, which stands for red, green, blue, um, and a hex color. Now we got hex colors. They're a mix of letters and numbers. And so my I'm going to put my hex color in here and choose whatever colors you want, or you could even pick theirs right there. There we go. The next thing I'm going to leave the graph like it is. We'll work with that later. But the next thing is not this column, but actually, if you look up here, I again, I want to select the whole row. I want this to have um, a, uh, a color. So I'm going to come here, add my background color. Enter that one in. There we go. And I want to change the background of these. Now, when you want to change the background of a text input box, um, I looked around for it here. And, uh, well, that was a mistake. I was trying to add the color. For To add the color on a text box, you have to go to the Advanced tab up here and go to Styling. And that's where you're going to find the background color for that. So my um, material.io gave me these cool yellows as a accent. So I'm going to use one of those. Add in there. And copy it. There we go. So there's my yellow. I'm going to put that. Remember, it's in the advanced styling. Uh, and then in this background color. I'm not entirely sure these are the colors I'm going to stick with, but I'm going to try them out and see how they go for me as I use it. How does it work for me and refine it as I go. But I want it to have something. And I think I'm going to choose. I want this to have that same yellow, perhaps. I'm going to styling, background color. And that didn't work. So let's go back to the main page up. Oh, there's my background color right there. So we're going to do, there we go. Didn't make it. Now, some of this you just have to search around for and you'll find. Now, material.io told me that I should use um, that it was not accessible to use um, 
to use white text on that yellow. So I've added the green right there. And maybe I need like um, something on my border. So let's choose a border and let's choose that dark green they gave us. Um, and I'm getting all of these colors off the colors that uh, material.io gave me. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here. There we go. That's not my dark. So it's as dark as we can. And I never gave it a width, so it doesn't know how to add it. And solid. There we go. And that just helps that. Maybe I do two lines. There we go. And probably I'll go back and do that. So right off the bat, I have a little bit more color. It goes with my theme. We've got greens, we've got yellows. And here we are. We have created everything we need uh, for the user interface for this app. So next video, I'm going to show you how do we ask it to do what we want um, on the back end. What is the code we're going to add? In the meantime, take your app, play around with your design, add some colors, play around in here. Some of it is just about searching and finding and trial and error. So give yourself some time to explore, to make some, uh, make some mistakes, fix them, and meet me back for the next video where we learn how to code this interaction.